What the fuck? Unfortunately, you must. What the fuck? Do you see this shit? That's what the f uh, okay. Uh, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to SCP Containment Breach. Um, in my efforts of bringing you guys another episode, I. It seems whenever I record something outside of an LP, the audio fucks up. So I have to after them after the fact commentate this shit, and it's annoying. It is annoying, and it's not the same as I do it live. It really isn't. So, uh, I'll try to make this live, I guess, as I can, because this is not live. Um, it's really annoying, and I got really scared. Like, not like, like scared. I save and quit a lot. Um, like a lot, um, mainly because like, I don't want to have to do some of this shit over again. So that's why I save and quit a lot this time around. Um, and I, I really, yes, yeah, 682 must be destroyed as soon as possible. That's a good idea. And that was a bad idea for me saving and quitting with the door open. So I do it again. And I resume my efforts of being freaked the fuck out. So, I don't know. Um, it, it's random every time. And every fucking time that door is open, it just automatically closes. Um, and I, I don't understand why that is. Um, I went in that room last time, so I do my best to avoid that this time. Um... I don't know why, I just, I, I don't like going in that room. Uh, SCP-12 is a piece of paper or something, and I don't have a key card, so I save and quit. And that probably wasn't a good idea for me. Mainly because I have my back turned to everything. Um, and... I, I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I make a lot of bad decisions in this episode. Um, I don't know why, and I see the ground cracking there, so I figure uh, 173 must be close. Uh, 372's room, which was in the last room, uh, the last uh, update, but, and I think it was exactly the same way, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 372 um, is apparently in the room, but you can't see him. Um, and, well, he's not in the room anymore because the door is open and he escaped. Uh, so I have no idea what 372 is. Um, and I grab something there, but I don't know what it is. And it's a transceiver. And I attempt to use 1 to 5 to change the channel as it says. Um, and then I try the F keys, the function keys, and I can't click it there. So I think F3 opens the console and allows me to cheat. So I didn't realize that. Um, so now I just kind of like make my way very carefully because I do not want to get fucked up by 173. Uh, because the door is still cracking. The floor is still cracking. And even in this room, it's cracked. So, I close all the doors behind me. And I save and quit again. You'll notice I'm very wary about where I go and what I do and um, where I look. Uh, I, I realized that he, well, I realized 173 was down that hall around the corner last time. So, um, because I didn't go in the maintenance tunnel this time, I figured I might as well. Right? Um new experiences yay yeah so I uh, I don't know where to go so I go this way and 
Uh, I think my my run ran out faster than usual there. Or maybe they updated it to run out faster than usual. Um, but I eventually went in this hall and C-173 and I very slowly backed my way up. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of uh, a good decision on my part because I don't want to fucking die. Um, and high one seventy three. I'm still watching you. I hear breathing, and it's creeping me the fuck out. Oh, I know what that was now. That was seventy six. The okay then. No, not 76, uh, 106, the, the pocket dimension gap. Uh, so what the fuck was that? The, that, that noise. That was really weird. And, and now I hear breathing. That's, that's always pleasant in a survival horror game. Okay, so what? <laughs> Okay, in my midst of uh, being caught off guard by trying to realize what that was, uh, which I think it was uh, 682's containment chamber, uh, I get thrown in the midst of 106's pocket dimension, and <laughs> it takes me a while to realize that. Uh, and at this point, um, there have been some updates to 106's pocket dimension, in which I attempt to um, verify that, those updates and it takes me a while to do so but then after doing so and attempting to research uh, I found out that there were actually no updates to the pocket dimension well aside from a couple little things um, I think though a couple little things that I will actually get into in this video um, mainly because I attempt to run and I, I see a black thing on the ground and then my vision keeps getting darker and I am confused as fuck as to what just happened. I walked down a tunnel in the pocket dimension and it threw me back into the real world. Um, I guess. Um... I'm not exactly sure what that means because you can see my vision, my walking is still a little wobbly. And there's a black abyss there. Um, and I don't know what that means. Uh, and then there's no door there. So I just go through it and I fall here. I see what looks like eyes. So I attempt to go toward it. And I am assuming it's um, another SCP, uh, which it actually might be, now that I think about it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I see something. Yeah, I definitely see something. I see a little figure popping up. You like wow! I can't even get it out of here now. Like you can see like a vague outline of uh, SCP-106's figure, um, like his body shape or whatever. Um, but yeah, now at this point, I'm really confused. Um, and I, I think I hear footsteps, but it's just me. Uh, so I pick a random hall and I go down it. Um, so the throne room isn't new. It isn't just the only new thing um, in the pocket dimension. The other, the new thing, the next thing is this: the room of coffins. Uh, not the room of coffins. The stone room. Um, if you get hit by one of these coffins, you die. Um, and it, it, it takes. I don't know. It's these things go from, uh, they, they just attempt, they go in an S-like pattern, and um, at this point I think, I, I thought they phased through me, uh, because I think one of them just, 
Uh, it almost hit me. Th three times they almost hit me. Um, four times. But maybe they never hit me directly. Um, until smack. Yeah. I get fucking hit. And I died. That's cool. Yeah. Massive skull fracture, three broken ribs, fractured, fractured shoulder, and multiple heavy lacerations. And at this point, I'm done. Uh, I give up. Uh, I'm a little too freaked out. And I just give up. And I should have saved that in the pocket dimension in hindsight. Uh, because I really enjoyed it. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed me failing again. I'll see you guys later.